What's good in the inner hood? It's your boy Rerun back with another video. And today is the long awaited video you've all been waiting for. Um, first off, really quickly, gotta apologize to Jason. Um, not that it's a huge thing, but YouTube, man. <laughs> All these freaking, I get, I get notifications, but I don't get notifications for multiple comments over a certain amount, apparently. Not like Facebook. Well, Facebook, I don't get notified of half the crap in, uh, on there anyway. So, stay tuned to the end of the video. I mean, if you watch this, you can go to the end of the video. I'll have um, the making of this magic concoction and all what went into it. All what went into it. But uh, I'll give you a sneak peek. <laughs> and as a shout out to part of you too got my beer glass <laughs> cap brewing baby gotta do it if, if you're gonna do it you gotta do it right all right so first off we're gonna <laughs> i got everything screenshotted in here as far as what i can find okay where where are my comment section at all right. Okay, Kirk asked me what was my my favorite uh, dad joke. Um, I've heard a lot of them. Um, but uh, one of the top ones that I can I, I I can remember. I don't know if what I actually called a dad joke per se, <laughs> but uh. You know, they, they say that uh, during sex you burn off as many calories as running eight miles. Who the hell runs uh, runs eight miles in 30 seconds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's always been up there. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so... Um, All right. There's all the ones I can find, at least, I should say, going through the videos. So if I missed it, let me know. Leave your question below in the comments, and uh, I'll address it in the next video. Okay. All right, Jason. Late for work. We'll, we'll go with this one first. What is a quote I live by? I actually can't say one because there's multiple. Um, what one of them is go big or go home. Uh, I used to be a hardcore skater. Uh, I rollerbladed for many, many years. I was actually pretty good. Um, <laughs> not professional good, but I was pretty. Um, Decent. I missed a uh, qualifier, uh, open qualifier at the pit in Rockford, Illinois, many years ago. I was probably like 14, 15 years old. Um, but they had the diversity tour stop in there, and they had an open spot, you know, to qualify and skate in the event that weekend. Um, I missed it by like, I think, five, four, four or five points, somewhere right in there. Um, that's where I, I came across that. Go big, go home. <clears throat> Otherwise, live. Uh, the, the biggest, the biggest one is live every day, every day to the fullest. Because today, today get it. Uh, today's a gift, and tomorrow's never promised. So, um, live every day, every, live every day to the fullest. All right. So, the next one we're going to address really quick, and then we're going to take a drink and uh, answer some other questions. So, another one from late Jason, possibly, I mean, uh, who, what, or who inspired you to do videos? Okay, so this is where I, I was talking about story time. So, way back in the day when I skated, and I switched from rollerblading to skateboarding, um, we used to film, we were, we were working on a... Um, skate video called Stairs and Queers. Not even joking, dead serious. <laughs> Heart attack kind of serious. But, uh, 
That was just before Jackass started putting stuff on MTV. Not, I, I, like, maybe a month before uh, Jackass was, like, big on TV. And I didn't follow much of the skate stuff back then, so I still don't, you know. Unless it's on YouTube and I, I run into it, you know, then that's about it. But, um, that was kind of like a launching point. Um, I, I did a segment where I took a, a full soda can and bashed over my head unopened and I, I perforated the can enough that uh, it actually started squirting um, my, it was a Mountain Dew can squirting flu uh, stuff from it I thought about reenacting it just for shits and grins for the video uh, video footage but uh, I don't know if you guys want it you know comment below I'll uh, reenact it for shits and grins it might not be the best but uh, maybe you'll be able to see exactly what it was um, so that kind of like was there and then um that, that was like the, the stupid human tricks, you know, like being there. And then I rang. I was a big karaoke guy after that. Many, many years down the road. So we're talking like 15, 16 at that point in time. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So five years later, I got, I got you know, five years or so, I got big into karaoke. I got pretty good into karaoke. Like I was doing contests, you know, keeping up with some. Very, very good guys that, and, and gals that sign. Excuse me. Um, like I was singing like old time rock and roll. Uh, ACDC shook me all night long. Baby got back. Which, you know, this wasn't just a one night deal a week. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I have to sing these songs uh, uh, every week. You know, I get a shot, I get a beer. Um, you get to dance with very, very attractive women. Um, you can get yelled at because I didn't try to pick one up. <laughs> but back in the day, I wasn't, you know, it wasn't like I wanted to take home some chick from the bar because that just wasn't my MO. <laughs> <laughs> I still laugh about it because I mean, yeah, she was, she was, she was hot. But uh, you know, the biggest thing is I, I don't you know, that whole bar scene and the rejection thing is just not my cup of tea. So, not that I was worried about being rejected, it just didn't want to go there. So fast forward. Um, uh, oh yeah, three little pigs. I do a badass rendition of that. So next time I find karaoke, I'm going to do a live version of that, film it for the, the channel. I, I got an acapella version um, somewhere. But uh, I just don't do it the way it's done. I, I, got, I got my own way, and it's pretty badass. you love it. Trust me. Um... So you know, the, the whole performance aspect of that stuff was like, hey, um, like, eh, it's a whole cup of tea, but um, I started goofing around with stuff. I made a beglary video. I don't know. Uh, I think it was on this channel, actually, because this channel's been around for five years. Well, there's a little stuff something for you. I've only been pretty active on this for about three years. I've taken some time off here and there. Um. So yeah, <laughs> um, I don't know if it's on this channel or not because I haven't seen it. But I, uh, the first that was the first video I posted on here. My first video ever on YouTube uh, was the condom challenge. You know, you sniff a condom, and uh, it didn't get much interaction on YouTube. Like you just kind of <laughs> like a fart in a windstorm, uh, and it did pretty good on uh, Instagram. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's on my Instagram account. <laughs> so, um, as y'all notice, it's not, you know, I don't ever put my, my social media in there, but Teenage Mutant Ninja Cuber on, uh, Instagram, I'm not going to post it anywhere, you got to pay attention to the video to find that information, a little sick of gem, so, you know, that kind of got me into doing that, and then, uh, posting, uh, yo-yo tricks, and, um, beggary stuff, and, uh, fidget spinner tricks and 
unboxings and stupid stuff that you know I want to do it and I um, a few other challenges and I'll look back I, I did the ghost pepper challenge it was sponsored by um, Pepper Spot Farms when uh, I had an affiliation with uh, Ditch Down 44 whole other video I could do off that um, that that's a whole clusterfuck and a half a bunch of people got their pennies in a bunch you know this world we live in is a crazy freaking place now it's another story time video if you want to hear it let me know below anything in here you want to hear just let me know um so um we're gonna take I mean, I'm gonna, i got a lot more questions so this might be a long video oh gosh I, the thing just smells rancid I mean, we're talking mini wieners, we got habanero salsa, baby food, uh, wasabi, huggy chuggy. Um, <coughs> so, I mean, it's all inside. In your head, in your head, zombie, zombie juice. I don't know what the fuck to call this thing, but uh, yeah, cheers. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I, I guess I kind of, for those of you who don't know, I mean, okay, I got the nickname Rerun from a former female friend of mine. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of the story. We were close friends for about solid 15 years, and uh, she was ha having issues with this dude. And I'm, like, I'm looking at her and telling her, you just need to drop the dude, he's a fucking douchebag. Plain and simple. I don't sugarcoat shit. It's probably why, part of why I'm single. Women don't want y'all. They want it nice and sweet, and yeah, I don't do that. I'm a good dude, but don't get me wrong. And so I'm like, you need to leave him. Well, she's like, you know, I, I got the perfect nickname for you. You know, that's before all this. You know, this is this is before all. The, she got pissy about that. No, well, we were kind of talking about it, but it, she wasn't pissy about it that bad. A little perturbed, but she's like, I'm gonna call you a rerun. She's like, you like old horror flicks or older movies, and you quote random lines from them. She's like, you're like, I'm, I'm, I'm a movie buff. I've probably run it around a thousand DVDs. I mean, if you name it, I might actually have it in my collection. Or it's on my list of movies to get. Or, you know, I'll add to my movies. <laughs> um. <clears throat> so, she gave that to me, then, and then we had a big blow-up over that, because I knew the dude, he was a fucking douchebag, he just wants to play with vagina all day, and not that he wasn't working or making money, he just, he wanted as much vagina in, it, in and around, you know, him as he could get, and you know, the guy had skill, but he just didn't have decency, you know. Hey, I just want to fuck around, you know, nothing being forward about what he, his intentions were, so, yeah, I don't play that game. If you're not going to be real about it, you're not going to be around me. I like real people. If you're weird, that's even cooler, but uh, respect is high on my, my priority list. Um, so, yeah. I could kind of rewind. I don't think I finished off... But yeah, so um, I guess left a little portion out of my why, you know, what brought me doing YouTube. You know, so it, it, why did I do something full time to kind of counteract <coughs> um, the crap I was with, with, dealing with with my son's mom? You know, I'm like, I could do YouTube stuff. And that is probably the only thing I, I really don't want to touch on here because you probably watched some of my videos, and that created a lot of controversy. <laughs> In fact, I wouldn't doubt if she's talking my YouTube videos. Um, I wouldn't put it past her. But, yeah, so, I mean, that would kind of got me into doing it on a normal basis and wanting to put out everyday videos. And then it's just like, 
editing and all that stuff and wanting to do something different and make the videos goofy and, and interesting with you know some random green screen stuff I found on YouTube <laughs> and, yeah um, which I haven't found I, I found stuff but I just keep getting spaced out and I need to get me a little notepad back here to uh, jot down what I need to do but yeah that's I can't believe I left that out. Yeah, so I mean, that was the biggest hurdle. Um, the biggest thing that got me into actually doing it. You know, I love performing. I love doing stupid stuff. I mean, when I say doing stupid stuff, I'm no small dude. I've been down to a pair of SpongeBob boxers, combat boots, little um, wrist cuffs from a shirt, and a bow tie, and two bars just for shits and grins. And I was sober. As a jaybird, you know, it's all funny games. You know, that's the funny thing. You know, we're talking about their drunken stories being bad, but my sober stories are far worse. <coughs> yeah, they're, they're far worse. So, uh, that's the, uh, you know, why I got, you know, doing full uh, YouTube full time. I just, I, I, you know, I, t I dipped my toe into the water with the other videos, and you know, I think I did a few. Um, but not on a normal basis until after my son's mom and I had split up, and, you know, and out of counseling and counseling, we don't, you know, the counselors would leave to do their own thing, and, and then finally I hit the point of, well, it's like, that ain't helping, you're not helping me go from the wall to third base, or um, first third base. You get me halfway between first and second, and that, that's actually when I started uh, some cubes. Um, if I could figure out how to solve the cube, I could figure out my life, and yeah. So that kind of was like, hey, I want to do all this stupid stuff, and I want to, you know, make people laugh and help people when. That's pretty much my life, you know. I went to school for business management, and other than not knowing, like, paperwork aspect of, like, PowerPoint, you know, PowerPoint presentations, other than not knowing that, I was pretty much in the top five of my class in eight weeks of understanding business. And, I mean, I've learned more doing stuff than I have actually going to that school. So, I mean, I've done it all. I've done a lot of stuff in business, you know. I've been a head cook. Uh, worked at many different restaurants. Made pizzas. Made steaks. The only thing I can't say is, in six years that I was in the food service industry, I had one thing returned, and it wasn't my fault. I was working under a cook, and he told me to take the chicken out a little earlier. And I'm like, dude, it's not done yet. And yet, it wasn't done yet. They sent it back. I had to throw it back in the fryer. I think I had to make more. It's one of the two. I don't know. But yeah. <clears throat> my actual name. I'm not going to give you my last name. But um, my name is Randy. Yeah. Shocking. I know. Um. But, uh, nothing fancy. Or Randall. I'm named after my uncle, Randy, who was killed in 93 in a bike a motorcycle accident. Not a very good, not a very pleasant accident. Or a pleasant thing to wake up to at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, no, let's see here. I guess it's time for another drink. After another question. Music I like. I listen to a lot of everything. It all depends on my mood. I listen to everything from punk, rap, alternative, grunge, hip-hop, R&B, jazz, Country, folk, reggae, 
comic stuff, or comedy type stuff. We have lots of different stuff, um, electronic type music. I can't think exactly of the name. Dubstep and house and all that jazz. That is not good. I can't really taste anything else on that drink, but... Oh, gosh, let's see here. I got everything covered. Well, thing I ever did. Um, the wildest thing I've ever done. Um, I used to, I play bass. Um, for fun. I sing. Well, thing I ever done was stand on a bar and sing Johnny Pool Bodies. So it's, it's like, you know, as far as being without, you know, the strip routine, um, that's up there with, you know, the, the wildest non-goofy thing I've done. The wildest goofy thing I've done, I dressed as a chick. Um, I have the pictures for proof. Yes, I do. I don't have any pictures of me as a stripper. There's some girls out there that have bad pictures. <laughs> In fact, I know... There's a girl that actually had a date the second time I ever did that. And her date didn't like the fact that I was down to a pair of Spongebob boxers and I'm a fluffy dude running around. I don't care. <laughs> I just laughed it off and kept going. Well, I mean, uh, what makes the um, staying in the bar wild was the fact that we had a roach come creeping in. And when I say I don't mean an actual roach, the guy was... I was trying to steal shows. So he came in. I happened to see him. And at this point, I got every. There's nobody in the bar up, up in the front playing pool. They were all gathered around the bar. And I saw him. I was like, I had told my, my, my buddy to turn it up. I guess I turned it the fuck up. Something like, you know, on that line. And it was like, he's like, dude, he's like, you saw him. He's like, and he like, turned the volume to like 15. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So that's what made that one wild, and I think that's more humorous because that bar, we ran karaoke on Tuesday nights, which was a dollar beer night. <coughs> uh, we were making their Friday night till on Tuesday nights. That's a lot of fucking beer. I mean, that, you know, that tells you you're damn good at what you do, and I will take pride in that till the day I die. Hopefully I can transfer over into the wrestling ring. That'd be nice. Um, that night also, though, I did get a laugh, did, did give a lap dance. Not a very good one, I, I don't think, but she seemed to enjoy it. That's all that matters. I made three bucks. <laughs> um, the first time I made three bucks the second time. Why I dressed like a chick? Because somebody said I wouldn't do it. Plain and simple. Um, that, you know, I was like, so I had a chick top, and um, I had a bull haircut at the time. I used to have hair right around, from this point, you know, right up here, up. And I had hair about that long. Not even joking. I had some long freaking hair. But, you know, getting older, because I'm 40 now. By 25, it was starting to come out. But I always wore, you know, I wore a hat a lot back then. All right. Um, I am going to address this really quick, even though I already messaged you back, Jason. He asked where I got the shirt. All the shirts, you know, for anybody else in here, all the shirts, all the tie-dye shirts you see, I've made, personally. Um, there's actually a couple of videos of me making a couple of different shirts. They're long, boring, but, you know, I just want to put them up there to show people that I just don't bullshit. I'm the real fucking deal. Yeah. <coughs> uh, yeah, so... Um, if you're paying attention a little bit in video, I told you on my Instagram, I put shirts on there. 
And in fact, that does bring me to the giveaway. I was supposed to do it today, but I tried to figure out the design for the shirt because I want to do something a little different. I have my colors picked out over here. We got green, purple, a pink, and a blue. And I think it's a kind of navy. So I, I think four colors will work for it. But I'm not sure. But I am going to do a giveaway. Um, we're going to do another Q&A video. We're not going to do a gross Q&A video, but we are going to do another Q&A video and give it away. So, that reminds me to go back and link Maple Cook. I think that's his channel. Dude's got some funny content. Check him out. I gotta go back and link it, link it in the my life. I'll link it this video. Fuck it. I forgot the last one. So I'm gonna do a third drink because we're getting none the last of the questions here. Oh, they're freaking repulsive. It's not horrible. All right, what was my favorite video I've made or will be recording? I'm going to answer both of those. My favorite video I've, re I've filmed, I think it's from these eyes or something like that. I'll link it in the description box below so you can check it out. Um, I was told that I would not fit in the, in the wrestling industry. I couldn't make it. <clears throat> so I cut a promo in my bathtub. Yes, I did cut a promo in my bathtub. It's no joke. And I wanted to take that and actually put some substance to it. So I went to the graveyard and I filmed. A lot, a lot, a lot of editing on that video. Um, and it's the video where it kind of showed me how to do stuff. Because, I mean, I goofed up in the video. Kind of get a little sh camera shake. So, it ended up working out to my benefit. So, you know, it was good. It was a plus. So, I really can't complain too much about it. You know, it by far surpassed my um, expectations of... We gotta do this. I gotta do this. I wanna do this. I wanna do this. I wanna put it all together. Literally, one of the wildest things I've ever filmed. And it was amazing because I loved every moment of it. You know, going through YouTube and looking at, you know, scary music and cutting and pasting together the music on an actual video. I mean, it was all done on iMovie and all done in one lump sum. I mean, I had to read. Transfer stuff, delete stuff because I need a segment. <laughs> and yeah, so it worked out really good. So this was my, by far my favorite. My future favorite video, my, uh, my future video, I'm going to do another promo video. Um, I'm just waiting for fall to get here. So I can do another video because I want, I want the trees to look eerie. I, I like that eerie look. Yes, Halloween is my favorite time of year. <clears throat> the only holiday I really like. I can't stand Christmas. People have ruined that for me. I can't stand uh, Valentine's Day. I can't stand it because it's corporate. And if you love somebody, you care about somebody, do you really just need one day a year to show them you appreciate them? I mean, that sounds pretty craptastic to me, you know. So, um, that actually answers another question that I forgot. I almost forgot. <laughs> but um, this one's going to be a little... I, I learned from the first one how I can do things a little bit differently. You've got you to learn from it. It's not when I'd say I make mistakes in the video. But if I could go back and redo it, I wouldn't. Because I want to take what I learned and transfer it to a whole other concept. Um, I have an obsession with wrestling. As you hear in my past videos, I, I am ring crew slash security for an indie wrestling company called PWX, Powerhouse Ex Wrestling Extreme. Uh, a buddy of mine, is he was security before I was, and they needed help for a show that had Super Crazy in it, and uh, that's where I got this nose crap at, you know, being the sun without a hat. 
didn't think about it. So I got my hat in there, ready to rock and roll. Next time there, be August 14th. See you in Point, Illinois! It's going to be a good show, because Cowboy Bob Orton's going to be there, signing some autographs. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. So let's cover all the all those questions. Um, I have snap me on what social media is doing. What social media platforms do you use? I use Facebook, uh, Instagram, Snapchat. I had Twitter, but it's, Twitter's just fucking bullshit. Um, I had a, a badass account, but. Um, that varied, you know, I had some cool people on there all the time. Uh, I had to say bye-bye because she was posting stupid stuff, like she was messing around with this dude and he messaged her like a month or two afterwards. It was a couple months afterwards or something. And she was posting up there like, dude, like, who cares? He got a hold of you like afterwards, you know. If the sex wasn't that good, then move on, who cares? You know, and I kind of, you know, I jumped on that one a little bit. Just, you know, hey, you know, there's always two sides of the story, you know. And that's, that's kind of my issue with women. Um, you know, I'm not going to be your fucking Prince Charming in the bed the first time around. I can tell you that much right now. Plain and simple. You know, come on, let's do, let's, let, let's put it out there and be fucking real. Sex. It's just fucking sex. Plain and simple. Until you add emotions... And a connection. And you layer it with some intimacy. Then then it's making love. But sex is fucking sex. You get in, you get off, you get out. Plain and simple. I mean, it's... I'm not trying to be disrespectful. <coughs> That's just the way it is. The more I drink this thing, the more it's not really that bad. Maybe I should uh, end this with a chug. That'd fuck my world up. But it might be worth it because it's kind of spicy. Uh, I mean, yeah. And it's not, I mean, I'm saying all women, it's just far too many. Oh, well, the sex with a good song's going to get back hold of them. Understandable. But. If you liked it and you just wait for him to get hold of you, come on, I mean, it's two-way street here. <clears throat> I mean, it's not like you just met a gal and you didn't give her your number yet or anything else. You know, like mine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, cr I'm, I'm kind of crushing on a gal that uh, I met at a show. She's a bartender. Um, she's sweet. Got a good sense of humor. Uh, you know, kind of... Like, whatever happens in life happens, so I'm not like, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta go back. But, uh, her both are kids, Cube. That's really all I know about it right now, but I mean, you know, I, I look at that, you know, scenario like that a little differently because she doesn't, she might know my name, my first name, but she doesn't know my last name. But if she has social media, I mean, she can find me pretty dang easy. You know, I commented on the, the place she works at, their uh, Facebook page. It's so about an hour and a half from where I live. Go figure. I never meet any... The women around me, it's just... It's drama. It's whining and complaining. Which leads me to the next one. Next question. Do I date women around my town? Preferably, no. Unless I actually meet a gal that's not full of bullshit. The three, because the, the facts... I, I don't care if you're fucking five hours away from me. Five thousand miles away from me. If you can't communicate, you can't understand the communication, and you're not willing to build expectations, because, okay, what could I, should I expect from you, you know, three messages a day, uh, 500 messages a day, you know, building that, okay, so you're, you're going to message me various, you know, uh, various times a day, you know, while you're at work, or on your break or <clears throat> waiting for your kids to come out or waiting 
for your doctor to come back in or whatever the case is. You know, if you can't follow those three things, I really don't have an interest um, in pursuing anything. Now, if those three things are good, but you don't have a good sense of humor, uh, personality, then I, I really don't have, an, I don't care how attractive you are, you're, bye bye Betsy. You know, I, I don't have a, a reason to date you. You know, I don't have everything in the world. I've, I've fucking busted my ass for the thing I do have. Everyone just keeps behind me. Yeah, I got lucky. Stimulus check, but... Um, quite a few, you know, some of them I got from my birthday present, got a gift card. Um, but I mean, that was part of my, uh, my counseling for myself, you know, as well as YouTube. But that's the biggest thing, you know, I mean, I'm not, uh, hey, let's do this. Hey, let's do this. A guy without understanding who you are, things you like. Um, I don't do the whole hidden agenda crap. Um, if you're going to change who you are every week, then that's just too confusing for me and I don't need you. Another one, drama. If you're constantly talking about everybody else's life, I, I don't want you. I don't care about who's doing what. Now, if they're in your circle of people, your friends, that's a little, it's a little bit different, a little more understandable. But if it's if I'm hearing everything about them, then it's just kind of like, okay. But if it's like, hey, um, so and so's having this issue. Um, what do you what do you think I should do? That's the whole story. That's all you say. I mean, perception is the key in that one. You know, I don't 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 flop on my lap expecting to give you something because mentally I'm not going to be able to do it. You can't process it. The other one, I mean, the biggest. Thing is, why are you complaining? And expecting me just to know your um, your quirks to break the barrier. I don't, you know, the, the signs that you know you might be interested. In. I'm a straight shooter kind of guy. I mean, I, I get it if you're, like, like the bartender gal, being at work. You know, even still, she's a little more straightforward than most of the gals I've dated. Oh, good lord. You know, but that's, you know, it, I'm simple. You know, if you're interested me, hey, I, I think you're cute. I'd like to get to know you more. Now, if, have I messaged any gals in the, in the last month? I mean, there's a gal that just subscribed that I made a message. She's pretty sweet, pretty cool. Just being friendly. But other than that, I mean, I typically, you know, I have... A lot of female friends that I, I talk to. Um, pretty much it, you know. And that seems to be like the hurdle. Like, oh my God, God, God forbid a guy have female friends. It's not fucking. <laughs> you know, it's like, good Lord. And the other thing I don't deal with is don't throw my fucking life in my face. I fucked up more than anybody. We don't do this as a weapon or ammo. Because it just pisses me off and I'll walk away. Like I said, I've learned more from my past than I have anything else. And through the years, I, I've been in predicaments like the last gal that I dated. She was from Texas. Telling me that she wanted to go cuddle with her buddy. And it wasn't just, hey, I, cu I go cuddle with my buddy from time to time. She brought it up, brought it up again, brought it up again. Instead of t saying, hey, you know, you're just telling me he's just there for cuddling, but you're emphasizing that, so what's the deal? You know, I already had, because she had a lot of drugs around her anyway, 
drug addicts and drug dealers, so it wasn't, you know, it was already a red flag there, and I was kind of wanted, I, I don't, it's not the best position for me to be in, because I was, I got big into drugs from my past, I was an alcoholic, now I can enjoy alcohol conservatively, because I'm not covering up my, my childhood and the issues I had then, <coughs> um, Let's see. And so, instead of appro approaching it with, you know, I said, hey, I'm not, I don't want you to cuddle with him. Because if I was enough for you, you wouldn't have to be cuddled with him. Yeah, I was legitimate about it. But instead of saying, you know, I, I just kept pushing that, pushing that. There was something else. But the communication was like, it wasn't there. It was more arguing and bickering instead of a nice, calm conversation like I'm having with you. Um, you know, that was... I get loud. I'm a loud guy in general because I got the, the glorious ADHD crap. Oh, look, squirrel, yeah. Um, so I'm generally loud to begin with. I have no issues in my ears. You know, it's just I'm loud. <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, da, 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 what was that? She, uh, She was. She called me. Well, she video. We were video chatting one night, and I was just like, I just told her, I'm like, you know, you're telling me this, and I'm not asking. You. She was basically putting it out there as she was going to do it regardless, what I had to say, and she was putting it out there as I was trying to tell her that she couldn't hang out with them or made a big fiasco about it. So I'm like, you know, my best, my best position in this is just to walk the fuck away. So I did that blocked her and everything and because you know I had a feeling I, I just kind of wanted to see what would happen afterwards and the aftermath was worse than trying to date the girl you know I got called out on a, a Lego dating page which I was blocked because I was an admin but funny how I was an admin I was doing more you know I, I had started like literally everything like I started to ask questions and starting to make posts and all of a sudden now other people are starting to do the same thing I'm doing. No big deal, but they're starting to do the exact same thing I'm doing. Now I got a problem. Don't step on my toes. Do not fucking step on my toes. That's the biggest way to piss me the fuck off. Come to me, hey, I, I like, to, you know, hey, I know you do this, but try a different day. I mean, I may have made it, I was even nice made a comment. So I eventually just left the page. All together. <clears throat> yes, I am a big fucking kid. I don't give a shit if you like it or not. That's just me. Um, once I get everything finished up in an organization, I'm going to do a apartment tour, and then in, we're going to leave out the studio because I'm going to put that in a specific video here soon. Actually, I might uh, do that. That'll be my next Q and A video. Yeah. So I mean, basically, you know, she made this this post on Instagram. You know, like I was stalking her page. She did it on purpose because she knew I was going to look. It made me laugh because I made a couple posts just to kind of show her. And she copied the one I f didn't think she would. This is the best, you know, because that's when I got some cubes. I was watching my cousin's house for a week. And, uh, the quiet was nice. Catching up on movies was, was plus. Good Lord, I'm at 44 minutes. This is going to be a long video to upload. It's going to take a minute. Get a drink here. Um, and it wasn't like it was like a week later that I got banned from the page, and I thought it was funny. But I wasn't talking shit about the page that the guy thought it was. You know, I, I still promote the page because I, I'm not gonna hold somebody back that might have a chance to meet somebody, and you know. But it was funny because, the, you know, the guy that supposedly created the page or one of the co-creators or whatever the heck he was banned me and then was, you know, running his mouth about trans people and blocking them for stupid reasons. Already dug himself a hole with people. Good Lord, here's the problem. Up. So, you know, I dealt with his crap and I, I shared something with him. I'm like, yeah, so 
funny how you shared that with me, but you know, oh, this is what we, you know, she made the stuff this before I did. It made me realize, you know, I'm like, uh, why did I stoop to her level? Oh, because I wanted to see, I, I wanted to see how far she'd go. But the post was like, I'm talking about this British dude who needed alcohol to, to go live and stuff, so it's already a big issue. <laughs> made me laugh. Um, so he ended up blocking me on Facebook. Which made me laugh. Like, literally, dude, you're going to be that immature about all this stuff. You're going to call me out, and you're not going to have anything to stand on other than that post. You know, she's going to, and she's still to this day, you know, a buddy, a former buddy of mine. <clears throat> I, I don't, I don't pull the bullshit. Plain and simple. I don't. You know, I don't need an explanation of why you love me. If you love me, just fucking say it, plain and simple. Or, um, if you tell me you're going to be here at a specific time, don't fucking show, you know, show up two hours later with an excuse that you have an explosive diarrhea. And you had to get medication. I mean, that's not really good to lose me. But then you'll show up and you're drinking Mountain Dew and eating chocolate covered raisins. I said, I mean, that's just stupid, that's plain stupidity. So, you know, I, I was like, you know, why do you know, I, I asked myself, I'm like, why do I keep going down there trying to show these people how they're making me feel? Why don't I just walk away? So the biggest thing, like, my, my biggest life lesson is people aren't going to learn from what you show them. They're going to learn from what you don't show them. You know, I had a friend that just, oh, you're trying to steal a friend from me. And I'm like, good freaking Lord. I'm not trying to steal anybody from you. You know, I like to play great. I like to, you know, I like to goof around with people. Titty twisters, nut shots. Uh, yeah. I think nut shots come off, you know, nut shots cut off to me because my, my right nut still hurts. Uh, yeah, so. Joys. No more of those. But yeah, I mean, it's just like, really, I'm like, and the same person is helping out another, my a neighbor, and I'm like, okay, so I asked for help, and because you're friends with my son's mom, you, you don't follow through? Okay. I don't, I don't play games. If you can't, like I tried to explain my son's mom every freaking time. If you can't work together, I don't give a fuck if we're not together. That's not the point. But if you can't, if you can't work as a cohesive unit to raise a child, there's a bigger fucking problem. And the problem isn't always both sides. Sometimes just one side. And I'm not saying I'm Mr. Perfect over here. I've got my faults too. But, you know, my hand is always there. You know, I mean... I'll be the first one to admit my my I, I have too nice of a heart, and I'll let somebody stab me fifty times in the back before I walk away. So, you know the joys of life, but you know I'd rather be there. You, you know, it's not a huge thing. It's like you know being kicked off a yo-yo crew because you're a racist sympathizer, but yet you believe firmly that if you put anything before lives matter, you're part of the problem. You know, that, that's exactly what life is. You know, you got people that, oh, well, it's a black thing, it's a white thing, it's a this. No, it's a fucking humanity thing, plain and simple. And, and life, he, human, humans don't want to be real. They don't want to be vulnerable. Because so many people are bullies, they want to sit there and poke you. Oh, good cool. lord, it was... That was a chunk of something there. Slimy. But uh, my camera's on, it means going to die, and I was getting out of the end of this. Life will teach you everything you need to know. And everybody around you will teach you everything you need to know about them. You pay attention, and you'll learn. That's why I enjoy the, the, low, the road less traveled. Yeah, it ain't the greatest road, and it's a long, a long, lonely road, but you know what? 
I'll travel that. Because you know what? I make my own money. I set my own hours. I do my own thing. I don't have somebody telling me to be here at this time and want me to do this, that, and the other, and I can't move up. So I'm making, I'm helping somebody else make money for what? Nothing in return? You know, at least, you know, working the wrestling thing, I see my return with the wrestlers in the ring. <coughs> you know, I, I get my return, I get to step inside the ring and goof around. You know, that's what I'm talking about. You know, life is it's short. You know, I, I'd rather be out making money next to, not, next to no money at all than making fucking money hand over foot and not being happy. At least now, I mean, I genuinely, I, I genuinely can say I'm happy. You know, I have moments where depression hits me and my anxiety level is like through the roof, but it's life. So, a little more training than what I probably wanted to want to do, but I had to answer a couple questions that um, I got. Yeah, I figured I'd throw some uh, little little stories in there too. Um. That's that's it. I mean, we got probably a fifty-minute video here, and I know <coughs> ain't nobody gonna sit around for fifty minutes. So I'm gonna leave you with a drink. I'm not gonna finish this. I was gonna chug it, but woo, I know. It's got a kick to it. I mean, the wasabi would power everything in there. And then I get the salsa flavor. On a way later, I kind of get a little bit of the wieners, just a, a tint, a, a small hit, tint, tidbit. But I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I think I answered everything pretty good. If you want me to elaborate on stuff, just let me know in the comments. Something didn't make sense, y'all. You know. I'm, it's that ADHD thing. Sometimes I get excited about the next question and I'm already all over it. So, uh, I'm out in 2000. Peace. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I fucked up. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Now I'm out. All right, so, uh, we're making the epic gross drink here. And some uh, chicken and rice. Next up are the peas. Now we're adding the dessert. <laughs> Some custard. This is not going to taste good at all. <laughs> Because uh, you already got some wedding greens in there. Got a little bit of wasabi left here. A 
I know a heck of a lot of wasabi, but there we go. This little wasabi. All right, cause uh, <coughs> add some little wieners. Use them all. There. <laughs> All right, we're at a uh, red little chugger. <laughs> this is not going to be good. Hey, spoon off before I throw some uh, mango habanero salsa in. Oh, there we go. Alright, so uh, we're going to bun this up so you're not going to be able to hear me. Whoa. We had an accident. Gotta sure make, make, gotta make sure make, gotta make sure it's finally diced up so not icky. We got a lot of leaky, leaky, leaky stuff here. This does not smell good in the slightest. Alright, so I guess we're going to serve this in a glass. Capital Brewing it is!